this video demonstration is for three gram digital scales that for the digital scales when you first run the app you're gonna put the slider on the digital one so you've got visual and digital on the screen you'll see it says calibrated you'll see the cal weight cal factor and calibration credits you've got left to use for your calibrations when you first run the app it will ask you to calibrate unless you calibrate you can't use the digital scales so select digital scale press settings you've got your grams decimal places your calibration weight which is 10,000 that's 10 grams and your percentage sensitivity percentage sensitivity will um, affect the readings on how accurate it is so the more you tilt it the more it's going to vary but you can use the stabilization method as well this will give you more steady readings so we'll keep this switched on so you've got a calibration weight of 10 grams 10,000 milligrams so first thing you want to do is you're gonna to have to calibrate the app to calibrate the app you'll need calibration credits you can buy calibration credits by clicking on the buy button you can buy one two five ten twenty credits or you can do you can also remove ads from here if you need help just press the help button there are three different app demonstration videos click on intro video to view the help for this digital scales you can also view the help documentation so to start you press calibrate before you press calibrate you will first have to create your balance setup so we've got something like a sponge here because it's nice and soft the phone will tilt when a weight is placed on so you need to balance your phone on it and make sure it can't tilt so moving near the edge the next thing you need is a known weight so if you're at home or if you know an actual weight of something usually coins have a known weight there's a pound coin in UK you can use the dollar to calibrate this we'll use a chalk I'm just going to weigh it now as you can see it's 14 grams or 13 grams we'll use 13 grams so we need to go back into our settings and change it to 13 grams so that's 13,000 milligrams now you should make sure that when you put the weight on the phone it's not going to tilt over but you need to get some tilt so let's try that that's not enough let's move the phone down a bit that will tilt over that will tilt over as well So let's use this press calibrate button follow the on-screen instructions now it's asking you to place the weight on the phone 
the known weight. So let's put the known weight on the phone and leave it there. Make sure you've got some tilt on the phone. When you hear the bleep, it's calibrated. We've now got a new calibration weight of 2739 and it's used up one calibration credit. It will now tell you that it's calibrated and you can press start and the button is flashing. So let's press start. As you can see, you first need to tear it. Now let's, let's see if we get the right weight. Let's tear it again. Okay, now place the object on the phone. Okay, to get accurate weight readings, you can make sure you place the object on the exact same place when you're weighing things. The other thing is you need to make sure that your your balance setup here is not changing too much. On our particular setup, it's very sensitive. As you can see, it's a slight movement we call change in results. When you take it off, on this particular one, you will have to tear it. So you can get about 14 grams, so it's, it's out by roughly less than a gram. roughly the right amount. One last thing is an alternative method. Now we've got a mouse here but it's got curved surface. You can also balance the phone on here and as you can see When you use a different balance, you need to make sure you calibrate it again because the change in tilt is going to be different. Okay, it's calibrated again. Let's press start. 
press tab. So using this balance is a bit more accurate so we've got a weight reading of 13 grams 13.98 using the chalk just making sure we place it in the same place each time let's tear it let's weigh the pound coin um, just let it stabilize make sure till the phone is not wobbling and as you can see we've got a reading of 9.34 more or less roughly 10 grams so the accuracy is really dependent on how you're using the app and also the balance. If you've got a nice tilt, you'll get more accurate readings. Okay, thanks for watching and please share the app with your friends.